Production Sound Mixer is, is charged with the responsibility of capturing the original performances of all the, uh, the talent, the artists on the set in, in collaboration with the director and his intention in how a scene and a show should come to pass. So how an audience experiences that sonically is, is the main responsibility. We deal with the, the artists in close quarters intimately day to day throughout the production and uh, our charge is to capture those performances in a way that they survive uh, to be in the end, the end film. A lot of my job on location involves uh, problem solving because the parameters of the shooting are, are set up by the camera people and then I have to figure a way to get a good recording working within those uh, strictures so it's, it's a I mean, it sounds straightforward, but in fact, there's a lot of ways to imagine a scene working sound-wise. And some directors are very sound savvy and, and very aware of it and have very strong notions of what they would like. Uh, I, I attribute a, a relationship to the drummer in the band because I think of what we do as uh, essentially like side, sidemen, musicians, um, each with an intense passion for a particular instrument, um, which comes into full bloom as we play with other musicians in, in the orchestra. In the drummer, we're kind of invisible until we stop. Um, so without the beat, there's, there's no music. And, and without the sound, the film becomes uh, mute. Generally speaking, on a film set, there's 100, 150 people. And they're all working pretty much with the interest of what things look like. Whatever their function is, it's around trying to make the picture at some level, except for the two or three of us who are doing the sound. So, Everyone is thinking about what it looks like, and there's only a couple of you sort of on the side saying, actually, we're... <laughs> in Les Mis, obviously, this was, a, uh, this was a musical, so most of the sound uh, had sort of musical content, uh, be, it the, be it the live singing from, from on set or, uh, or everything else that went with it. It's basically just a question of getting all that sound together and getting it all ready to be mixed. That's, that's the process. Sound re-recording is uh, where we're blending the soundtrack of the movie together. So we come on when the film has been shot, the film's been edited, and uh, the last uh, part is to uh, put the soundtrack together. So I'm usually working with all the production tracks that are recorded on the set, along with any loop tracks that are done to replace sounds that the actors uh, need to be replaced. It's sometimes there's a, 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 if you're doing a period film and then an aircraft goes by, obviously they have to re-record their dialogue, things like that. And then performance takes sometimes are redone. Then I take all of those elements and adjust them, take out some noise, ambient noise, and clean up a lot of the dialogue, uh, make it so you can actually hear it so you're not chasing your remote at home all the time, <laughs> and then hopefully. And then we work with um, the orchestra or the band that's been recorded for the music and the songs that are put into the film and then um, all the sound effects. You know, the footsteps are split from all the other elements and then all the spot effects, the atmospheric elements. That's a lot more of the nitty gritty. Um, and then during the final mix, when the director and a, more of the kind of creative other departments come in, um, then we're making slightly broader decisions about the overall sound for the movie and introducing the music and I guess that's where the fun starts. The, the salient thing about what we do is it's not a technical job. It's you must be watching the screen, you must be watching the movie and responding to the film and I think uh, for anybody who wants to mix sound uh, in, a, in a film you have to remain audience. You have to always be thinking of you know, yourself as an audience member and how other people view the film and, uh, and mix it accordingly. There's a grand evolution that's happened in terms of our tools both for camera and sound over the last you know, few decades. Um, and that's very important and you need to know them uh, with, with great intensity but don't let them drive what you're doing, only inform what you're doing. Um, you need to be driven more by the filmmaking. You know, where are we going? What is this actor like? What is the character that the actor is creating like? And how does this, the sound that you create um, support that? There's a great phrase, phrase that says music can't save a bad film, <laughs> but it can absolutely um, lift a great one to another, another dimension of, of wonder. I, I, think, I think the craft of music is a very, very delicate craft, particularly nowadays. I think music can get in the way and hinder as much as it can help, but I think it's 
it needs to be taken very, very, very delicately and it needs to be carefully understood. My advice to people generally when, when, when they ask me my opinion is to try and find a young upcoming filmmaker that's really got an interesting project. You're going to have to get in there, you're going to have to work for nothing, you're going to have to throw yourself in, but you're going to potentially learn together in a sense and grow and if that director or writer happens to hit on something that takes off you know with a bit of luck you go along for the ride. Learning some type of music in some way even if you don't play you know if you just really listen and use your musical background I mean that'll help you quite a bit. I deal with composers, I deal with music editors and you know I go to the scoring stage when they're recording, you know, and I understand the language. That helps me uh, quite a bit when we get into mixing with the composer right next to me saying, I want this, I want, I want a little more of that, I want to, you know, and he's using musical terms. I understand what he's talking about. I strongly urge that you become knowledgeable as a filmmaker, become literate as a filmmaker. Go listen to movies and don't have some preset notion that it's got to be natural. You know, I've done a movie with Robert Altman who hated naturalism in the sound because it was informational about the content. Um, and you can't have some negative feeling about that. You have to embrace that and, and fall in love with that. There are many great films that had all post-sync sound that come from Eastern Europe and Italy and other places. Um, are they lesser films because they were not, you know, done organically or naturally? No, they're, they're, they're lessons on... Uh, staying involved with the characters, staying involved with the storyline, staying involved with the storytelling. Um, and as, as long as you can do that and, and support your character's existence inside the illusion of the film, the rest of what you do will fall into place.